In today's tutorial, we'll be cutting my take on a classic Vidal Sassoon shag haircut using Ford graduation, disconnection and advanced texturizing techniques. We start with the center back parting, taking diagonal back sections. My first section is one inch deep. This will accommodate for the recession in the front hairline. We start the haircut standing in front of our client. This first section will be the guide for most of this haircut. Determine your desired length before cutting, making allowances for curly or wavy hair textures. We cut our first section, directing the hair one finger's width from your client's forehead. We cut a square line. We direct every new section back up to this guide, continuing to cut a square line. We continue with diagonal back sectioning using the width of my comb as my guide. My client's head is slightly directed forward and down. This will help me to build more weight in my forward graduation. My elevation is now directed straight out from the base of my section. This will help to create softness in my shape. We continue this process until we run out of hair from the back zone of the head shape. When cutting this haircut, you could choose to cut on the skin, creating a heavier shape, or you could continue to elevate your sections, creating more softness in the shape. And you could extend your guide one finger's width over your guide with every new section to create maximum texture and movement in your shape. If you wanted curtain bangs, you can also cut this haircut the same way, changing your cutting angle, following your curtain bang shape. We continue with your body position in front of your client, also with your client's head in the same position, maintaining even hydration, even tension, and hair distribution. And elevation is key to cutting a balanced precision shape. Once we finish our first side, we repeat the same process on the opposite side. This Vidal Sassoon shag haircut is super easy and super fast to cut and looks amazing short or long. Watch this tutorial until the end to see the same haircut cut short and long on different hair textures. Shorter this haircut is cut, it can look like a beautiful salon friendly mullet haircut. If you have learned something new or if you value my work, please hit like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below. This haircut is suitable for all face shapes and clients. It can be styled to look more corporate and conservative and can also be styled to look quirky and edgy. This haircut looks incredible in all hair textures. If you would like to see this haircut dry cut, let me know in the comments below. Dry cutting will create more volume and graduation in the shape, ideal for curly, wavy and coily hair textures. The cutting technique we are using to cut the first stage of this haircut is called forward graduation, commonly used to cut long layered haircuts creating amazing face framing. When cutting wet precision haircuts, I like to use my five inch Mizutani precision scissor. The five inch short size is ideally suited to precision cutting where accurate, precise details are extremely important. And my Wyas Parks 339 cutting comb, the fine teeth spacing provides excellent tension for precision haircuts and is extremely well balanced. Once we finish cutting the forward graduation, we have an option to refine the face framing. I am simply taking random sections, elevating each section up to my fringe zone and cutting. This will reduce length and weight, making the face frame pop. Repeat on both sides. In the back zone, I will be taking horizontal sections, elevating each section 90 degrees straight up. Using a combination of cutting techniques, 
club cutting, a horizontal line, flipping my cutting section 180 degrees before cutting to create more texture in the internal shape. Each section being cut at different lengths to create invisible seamless disconnection, increasing texture and movement. If you wanted more volume in the crown zone, you could choose to cut round layers. Or if you wanted minimal layering, I would choose to cut triangular longer layers. We complete the back zone with point cutting a textured line. In the top zone, I will be using different sectioning, over direction and cutting techniques to create maximum texture whilst maintaining shape. I take a small triangle section, twisting the section nice and tight, directing the section straight up. I visually cut my guide, gently cutting into the section, creating mass texture. I now take a larger triangle section, over directing back to the first guide. I twist my section 180 degrees before cutting. My last two sections are over directed back and club cut. Diagonal forward sections direct weight towards the center fringe zone whilst maintaining weight in the back corners of this zone. Over direction also maintains length and weight in the front of the haircut. Choosing multiple cutting techniques will increase seamless texture and movement in the shape. And completing this haircut, taking weight out from the fringe zone, elevating each section straight up, twisting, then cutting, allowing the length of my fringe to fall out before cutting, maintaining the previous shape whilst creating controlled texture and movement. I am preparing the haircut with sea salt spray and my favorite curl cream to help activate the curl creating lived in natural texture. I place the hair into natural fall, emulsifying the product evenly throughout the haircut. I now direct my hair dryer and diffuser 45 degrees down on high speed and high heat, drying the haircut in natural fall. I use my spare hand as a board to elevate sections whilst drying. This allows the root area to dry with more curl and movement. Once the fringe and face framing is almost dry, I change my client's body position to face up, allowing me to elevate the crown zone, repeating the same process. This position allows me to dry the length in this haircut using maximum heat and speed with maximum comfort to the client as their chair works as a barrier between the air and her body, allowing us to work faster and smarter. To complete the diffuse dry, I changed my client's body position again to face down with her hair flipped over her head. This allows me to add more volume whilst making sure her root area and nape are 100% dry. I now set the shape using cool air, preparing the haircut for the shakeout. Using your hands on your client's scalp, shake out the shape by moving your hands back and forth. You can ask your clients to do this for you. Watch and see how they shake their hair out to grasp an idea of how you may want to finish your styling. I like to remove the gown before styling to see the shape of my haircut and how it's working with her face shape and body shape. I'm finishing my styling with texture powder adding even more volume and movement into the haircut. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe icons and feel free to share my channel with your friends who may value my work. I do really appreciate it. This is the before and after results. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So this is my take on a classic must-know Sassoon Shag haircut. I hope you love it as much as I do. As promised, here are the different lengths of the exact same haircut. Do you have a favourite?
If you like this tutorial, you should watch either one of these two next.